Greetings all and welcome back around to a Let's Play Gothic 2 Night of the Raven. I am your host, Chisweek Oshmanutnuf, and we are still in the mandatory sewer level. Or, well, the sewers in general. Isn't really a level per se. Well, I have no clue where I am or what I'm supposed to do here, but I might as well just. What? Explore it and see through those. Are those pipes stuffed? There isn't even an end to it, or it doesn't lead anywhere. I kind of haven't seen a single toilet in this game, so I don't know where there's, where there's a sewer to begin with. But of course there are rats. Jesus, mother! That are a lot of rats. Okay, fuck that shit. Let me just match the button now. Fuck. <laughs> fuck fighting tactics. There. Come on. Thank you for dying. Mother of Mercy. Oh, at least one thing one thing in the sewers is, 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 is as it is. There's no poo, but there's also but there are a lot of rats, of course. And potions. And dead people. I are there dead people in the sewers. Then again, this thing has to be used for something at least. Well, at least I hope it's at least nice that I don't have to deal with the poo of the uh with sudden sudden poo flows. Jesus Christ, this is dark in here. Let's see. Potion. Is that a. That's a statue of Beliar. We've seen one of those in uh, Zardus' tower. But I have no clue why there's one here in the sewers. I guess some cold down here. Ooh! Chest. Let's see. Love. Nope. Wrong. Let's see what we have. A hunting bow. That's oh, not just, just some hunting bow, it's Bosper's hunting bow. Wait a minute, and Coragon Silver. Has this stuff been stolen? Wait a minute. Could this actually be some sort of bandit hideout? I guess that, that there were both two things that were stolen. And let me take a look at the key from Attil. Where's the key from Attil? Uh, there it is. A rusty key has yeah, been damaged by salty seawater. Since, since we swam through salty seawater, I guess that's the key. For this door right there. So I guess we're close to the ban uh, to some bandit hideout. I better heal up, just in case. Let me see. I'm too. I'm too lazy to read random stuff. I just took a drink a potion. Well, that will also explain all all those dead bodies. Jesus. Also, I'm glad that this uh, sewer isn't used for pooing. You know, especially if I'm running around with a torch. You know what happens if you try to. Uh, Incinerate a fort, or lighten up a fort. Yep. What the hell? This doesn't even make sense. This is just a random hole that leads. I can see through the hole. There's a door. I'm supposed to crawl through there. I don't think I really can do that. This sewer doesn't really make any sense. And I guess that's no, that's not even a door. Oh, let's see. I see someone in the distance, I guess that's a bandit. <coughs> I hope he won't. Well, then again, uh, since. Whatchamacallit? Attila, Attila gave him the key, I probably won't try to. I'll never get this open without the right key. Nope, he won't. I doubt you. What? Oh, I guess I'm above the town square. Yes, shut up. I don't care, thank you. Okay, hey there. Hey, what are you doing down here? There's nothing here for you. So, out with it. What are you doing here? Attila gave me a key. That's why I'm here. So what do you want of me? Wouldn't you like to know? Keep your cool. Go see Cassia. You're expected. Cassia? Oh, look. She sounds like a nice girl, I guess. Just... Except that she's a bandit, or rather a thief. Well, especially, especially they don't seem to uh, seem to care that I just stole stuff from them. Then again, they just kept it in a chest on the other way on the uh, on the other end of the map. Hmm. You're not you're not Cassia. You're a you have a bit too much balls for being female. <coughs> Let's see, Cassia, Cassia, Cassia. There's Cassia. Hello there, sweetheart. Hey, 
I see you received our gift. I'm Cassia. All right, Cassia. So tell me why I'm here. You caught our attention by winning the trust of some of our friends. And we want to offer you a chance. You can join us. Sounds good enough. Tell me about your organization. People in town are pretty nervous about us. But nobody knows our hideout. The handful of people who even know that the sewers exist believe that they are locked and not accessible to anyone. As long as they don't find us, we can work in peace. What do you know about the missing people? Why would that interest you? I want to find out what happened to them. When you emerge from the sewers, swim down along the coast to the right for a while. You're bound to find your answers there. Yep, that's how we also get to know get to know about Skip. But that's not that's really what you care about. What's in it for me if I join you? You can learn special abilities from us. Abilities that will allow you to live in luxury. But I wouldn't have to hide out down here, would I? <laughs> no. You only have to stick to our rules. That's all. I was about, I was about to say live in luxury, like living in a stinking sewer. I think I pass, thank you. What are your rules? The first rule is, you don't breathe a word about us, to anyone, ever. Second, don't get caught. Third, if you draw your weapon down here to attack someone, we'll kill you. And the fourth and last rule is, those who want to join us have to prove themselves. What happens if I get caught? Just don't get caught, okay? Sounds simple enough. How am I supposed to prove myself? Now will you join us or not? Well, gee, fine. Oh, then again, I want to know what I can learn. What can I learn from you? Jesper is the master of stealth. He will show you how to move without making a sound. Ramirez is an exceptionally gifted burglar. No law can withstand his picks. And I can teach you how to be a pickpocket. I'm also going to help you become more dexterous, for dexterity is the key to your abilities. In other words, abilities we can also learn from other ones. I already learned lockpick and I'm not going to learn pickpocketing since that requires dexterity, which I will never actually actually skill. And sneaking is uh, not useful, respectively there are better ways. Okay, I'm in. Great. You'll be given an opportunity to prove yourself. And if you want to learn from us, you're welcome. How am I supposed to prove myself? That stubborn old alchemist, Constantino, has a beautiful ring, but he doesn't really need it. I want to see it adorn my hand. Well, sounds good to me. Hmm, there's a chest. No, I'm not going to lock it. I lock pick it. I don't know why, but people in Karinas have sure hatred against shadow beasts. But okay, we'll have to bring Cassia this beautiful ring. And since since there's no other way out, up to this point we have to swim all the way back again. Then again, it's not that uh, that much of a, that much of a swim we can take. So what can we do except stealing Constantino's ring? There are we got the silverback for Corrigan and the bow for Bosper. We can actually just bring them back. Funny enough, they will never ask you about that for reasons I can't really explain. I guess it's not that much of important. Uh, not such important loot, especially since I keep it just in chests surrounded by random rats. Oh, my torch. Oh well. Then what I also totally forgot is uh, we still retrieved the Inno statuette from the Goblin Cave a couple of episodes ago, which you can still bring uh, uh, bring to Darren, the wonderful Inno's priest. So that's also one thing we can do. Also, still, also we still have to grok for uh, grok for Baltram, since we made this little detour around here. So I guess first I'm quickly going going to Bosper. Shouldn't be ta shouldn't take too long. Let's see. I'm sure Bosper will be happy about it. Hello, Bosby. I think this bow belongs to you. My bow? Where did you find it? 
in a dark hole full of rats. I hope you didn't get into trouble. No, I've done this kind of thing before. <laughs> Thank you anyway. I owe you for this. Like a reward or something? Fine. Well, and if you're already here, we might as well... Uh... Oh, wait. Didn't start as his apprentice yet? Interesting. I want to start as your apprentice. Eh, <laughs> great. You seem to know the basics already. Harrod thinks you're a good man. Thorben gave you his blessing. I'm not all that pious, but I'm fine with it. Constantino says you can sign up wherever you want for all he cares. And Matteo says you this means you can Oh wait. Um I didn't I didn't bring the plants to Constantino yet. Oh let me actually do that quickly. Con totally forgot about doing that. Oh silly me, silly me. I actually hope that I have all herbs now. Yeah, I think I picked up enough. Okay, Constantino. I need to steal her ring anyway, so what about About the plants? If you cannot handle that by yourself, you won't be any good as an alchemist either. I've got all the plants I was supposed to bring you. What? You're pulling my leg, right? By Adonis, it's all there, all right. Who knows? Maybe someday you could make a decent alchemist after all. Because I was able to pick f pick flowers now. I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You have come to ask my approval? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, you can sign up with whoever you like. Well, your opinion didn't really change. Okay, I still have to steal the ring from Constantino. So I hope he gets busily... Stop staring at me. Be busy with your alchemist bench, please. Okay, now he's busy again. A quickly quick save, and also I sidestep in because that's actually silent, so he shouldn't notice me. I know it's silly, but just trust me. Then again, the clocking from the chest isn't obvious at all. Just don't mind me, Constantino. Oh, that's a beautiful ring. What protection? And gold, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you, Constantino, and goodbye. Okay, I still want to sign up now for Vosper. Totally forgot that. Funny enough. Vosper, I want to be your apprentice. Sup? Blah, 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 blah. I'm in. You aren't going to regret this. I think we'll be able to work together well. Well, and that what I have to do is just bring him all the skins I occasionally sla uh, bring. Uh, I get. So it's a pretty easy apprenticeship. Then again, well, for Constantine, we just have to bring him mushrooms, which isn't all that much work either. Only Harrod really requires actual work since you have to smith swords. I've got a few skins for you. A sheepskin? You didn't go slaughter some farmer sheep in the pasture, did you? I wouldn't dream of doing that. Wolf skin, that's good. Ah, even a shadow beast skin. Those are worth a lot. Good work. Come see me again when you have more. Yep, and the job pays pretty well. So actually always, uh, no matter what I actually become in the end, I always pick this apprenticeship since you're going to learn skinning hides anyways in one quest. So you might as well just pick that apprenticeship. Okay, so we're finally have a job now, which I totally forgot to actually attend to for like, I don't know how many episodes. Okay, now we bring back uh, Corrigan Silver, so he's happy too. I've got your silver. Really? Here, take this as a reward. A very special beer. This is my last keg. Wow, he seems to be extremely thankful that I gave him so much valuable silver back and he's just here, take a beer. But the beer gives us a mana bonus, increases our max mana. I'm not going to drink it though, because I'm, I'm not... Uh, I'm not drinking any alcohol. I have to stay sober on the job. I'm sorry. Okay, next up is Baltram, since we want to bring him back the rum we've gathered. 
I got the rum from Skip, but he gave me no more than two bottles. Damn expensive, that. Who does he think he is? Well, give it here, then. I can't give you much for it now. This here's gotta be enough. Jesus Christ, lady, what for a cheese are you eating? Fucking hell. <laughs> that thing is crunchy as all hell. And you also got the statuette for Darren. Really? How interesting. I found your statuette. Praise be to Inos! What will you do with it now? Nothing at all. It brought me nothing but bad luck. You'll take it back to the monastery for me, my son. Uh, naturally, they won't let you in unless you dedicate the rest of your life to serving the monastery. That's terrible. But I'm sure you won't mind doing that if it means you can be of service to me. <laughs> right? Go with Inos, my son. Of course, of course. I'll do anything for you, Mr. Shouty Man. Okay, that's done as well. So let's quickly bring back uh, Cassia's ring. Jesus Christ, that cheese. Since we're pretty much done. Yeah, generally we're pretty much done for the first chapter. The only thing left is... Oh, yeah, I forgot to talk about, uh, talk about the missing people of the Vatras. That's something I need to do. But then there's also, um, funny enough, there's still the quest with the weapons trader. I first thought, soundtrack. Okay, you just loop that over, all over and over and over again. What the hell is up? <laughs> oh, there we go. Now it's normal again. Uh, I actually thought that Halver is part of this quest, but it is in the end he isn't. I guess he's just a small fish in this whole weapon stealer thing. Because there's actually a bigger one, a uh, bigger weapons trader. I'm glad that this water was deep enough. So, we'll sooner or later have to... I was about to say thank you music for Central for crapping out again. No, we ha still have to find a big, uh, the big fish. The shark, or whatever. But that's kind of hard uh, up to this point for the first chapter. Plus, if we actually can, uh, finish that already in the first chapter, we can't do a... A little side quest in the third chapter. So we're going to leave that for now and just tell Batras about um, about the missing people and I'll probably end the episode right there because the only thing left is actually uh, going to the monastery where we're going to spend the rest of our life being pious and praying to God and uh, there we go there's Cassia. Hello I've got your ring. Hey you! I've got Constantino's ring. Congratulations. You passed your initiation test. Now you're truly one of us. Take this key. It opens the door to the hotel. Then you won't have to swim every time. Furthermore, you should know that we have a secret sign, a particular nod. Exactly. When you talk to the right people and make this sign, they'll know you're one of us. Uh, we're not going to talk about her job yet. There are, from the third chapter on, we get a couple of quests from the Thieves Guild, but yeah, you can already do that one from Cassio already now, but I think I'll just do that in a whole package in the third chapter. I wonder where this key actually, where this puff actually leads. At least I appreciate that I don't have to swim every fucking time. Hello, Celtic God. And open the door. Hmm, where the fuck is this? What is this? Look at you. Where do you come from, huh? Uh, I... <laughs> I know. You don't have to tell me. I know everything. Just don't even think of stealing anything here, got it? We can't afford drawing attention to the hotel. No worries. No worries. I just closed this door. I would like to close the door. There we go. So it isn't that suspicious anymore. Well, okay. Off to watch us. Since we are completing now the missing people quest. And then, like I said, we're done. I guess at the next episode I will be starting from Orland's Tavern. Or the Dead Harpy. And there arose all creatures, trees as well as animals, wolves as well as sheep. And last of all, arose the human. 
Hi, I arose in front of you to talk to talk about you, the missing people. About those missing people? Yes. I know where the missing people are. What have you found out? A man named Raven dragged them off to a remote part of Corinus. What makes you so sure? I read his orders. He's got the local bandits working for him. Here. Good. You did a great job. I had feared that we might have to resign ourselves to never knowing. Funny enough is actually that you don't even need the letter to, in order to complete this quest. You just can If you don't have the letter in your inventory, you just tells Watchers about it and he just believes him. But, well, don't care. Okay, we can't join the Ring of Water yet since we have to actually join one of uh, one of the guilds first, so we del can deliver the message to Lord Hayden. I've got this stone tablet. Can you tell me more about it? Those are artifacts from the old culture, which we have been investigating for some time. There are several kinds of them. Some contain information about the history of the ancient people. And that is the kind I am interested in. Bring me all of those that you can find. I shall give you an appropriate reward. What was is the old tablet, uh, old stone tablet dump? Great. Here, take a few potions as a reward. Why? Thank you. Okay. Let me actually quickly uh, look through the quests. I think I've done pretty much everything now. There is not really much. Oh yeah, bottoms up. That's still in the tavern. We can actually resolve this quest in the next episode. But up to this point, um, there is nothing of interest anymore. We can't kick Bulka's butt. We don't want to become mercenaries. The portal, etc. is everything we do. We can still do later. But I think we can finally uh, set an end to the fir uh, very first chapter, or at least go towards the end of the very first chapter, in the next episode of Let's Play Gothic 2 Night of the Raven. Should I speak, or I don't know if... Au revoir!